Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's November 1st, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. Hopefully everyone had a fantastic Halloween, but first things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of November 1st, 2024, waste management is currently trading at $213.94 a share. Republic Services Incorporated is now at $198.57 per share. Ranger Energy Services is up to $13.16 per share. Brookfield Renewable Core has reached $29.97 per share. And lastly, Nextera Energy is now trading at $77.10 a share. But moving into the news, first up from SWANA, the Solid Waste Association of North America announced a brand new event series this past week called Archon, the first iteration of which is scheduled to be held November 12th through the 15th, 2025 in Columbus, Ohio. According to a recent press release from the organization, Archon will be where waste and resource management leaders come to think. The event promises to display the quote-unquote full SWANA experience, offering a platform for considering the best pathways forward for the future. SWANA's board president, Tammy Hayes, even said, quote, This is a totally new conference that will replace SWANA's legacy events, SOAR, and and WasteCon. Archon will focus on advancing the understanding of waste as a resource, and it will be the go-to platform for cutting-edge discussions, technologies, and practices. It's really the evolution of what's next, and it will provide a more effective and productive way to accomplish our mission and goals. End quote. And up next, from Capitol Hill, Congressman Brad Schneider, alongside Representatives Dan Kildee and Julia Brownlee, recently introduced the Expanding Clean Fuel Production Act, which seeks to extend the Section 45Z Clean Fuel Production Credit by an additional 10 years, pushing its expiration to 2037. The bill aims to bolster investment in clean fuel production technologies, particularly in sustainable aviation fuel, in order to help greenhouse gas emissions in the transportation sector. The current CFPC, established under the Inflation Reduction Act, is set to expire at the end of 2027. By extending the credit, the legislation would provide long-term certainty for biofuel producers, spurring continued innovation and investment in the U.S. renewable fuel sector. And staying in Washington for a moment, this past week, Congress heard from several speakers on the urgency of clamping down on methane emissions. The main solution proposed at the congressional briefing was anaerobic digesters, otherwise known as dairy digesters, which convert organic or animal waste into renewable natural gas and are increasingly gaining momentum from both the agricultural and energy industries. California Congressman Jim Costa, among others, held the technology as economically sound and a win. Elisa Oko, senior advisor for the United States Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, even went so far as to say, quote, reducing methane is the single fastest way to slow down global warming, end quote. And speaking of California, the California Air Resources Board, or CARB, and Airlines for America, an industry trade group representing almost a dozen airlines, recently pledged to increase the availability of sustainable aviation fuel across the state. At a San Francisco International Airport ceremony this past week, the partners committed to using 200 million gallons of such fuels by 2035, an amount estimated to meet about 40% of travel demand within the state in that time period, according to the CARB. In a statement, California Governor Gavin Newsom said, quote, This is a major step forward in our work to cut pollution, protect our communities, and build a future of cleaner air and innovative climate solutions. End quote. 
And just a quick reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Be sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamond, S-C-I.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation just by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Archer Western Construction has been chosen to construct Synthica Energy's new facility in San Antonio with the capacity to process up to 250,000 tons of industrial organic waste into renewable natural gas annually. The $50 million project is set to break ground this year and begin gas production in the first quarter of 2026. Synthica is also developing similar projects in Atlanta and near Cincinnati with processing capacities of 250,000 tons and 190,000 tons respectively. Gas production for both of those plants is expected next year. And up next, a new RNG project in Virginia is set to fuel AstraZeneca's Maryland biopharmaceutical facilities. Total Energies has started work on the Okmulgee Dairy Farm Renewable Natural Gas Project in Amelia Courthouse, Virginia, along with its joint venture partner and BlackRock-supported Vanguard Renewables. Total Energy and Vanguard are moving forward with 10 projects into construction with a total annual RNG capacity of 0.8 terawatt hours. The two companies also intend to invest in a potential pipeline of about 60 projects in the U.S. According to a spokesperson from Total Energy's, quote, this project in Virginia and two others currently under construction in Wisconsin and Minnesota are part of a promising potential pipeline of projects that will support Total Energy's ambition to be a leader in the fast-growing renewable gas market, end quote. And next, Opal Fuels Incorporated announced this past week the start of commercial operations at its renewable natural gas facility at the Polk County Municipal Landfill in Jones Corner, Florida, marking the company's 11th operational RNG project and second facility in the state. Owned and operated by Polk County's municipal government, the landfill is now providing biogas to Opal's RNG project, which is producing and injecting pipeline quality RNG. With a nameplate design capacity of approximately 1.1 million British thermal units of RNG per year, the product RNG will be primarily used to replace diesel transportation fuel to lower fleet operating costs and reduce greenhouse gas emissions resulting in a significant impact on public health and the environment. This reduction is equivalent to achieving zero Scope 1 and Scope 2 emissions from over 900 heavy-duty trucks. And lastly, speaking of commencing commercial operations, Vision RNG, in collaboration with Laurel Ridge Landfill LLC, a subsidiary of Waste Connections and Delta Gas, has commenced commercial operations at its new renewable natural gas facility located at the Laurel Ridge Landfill in Lilly, Kentucky. The facility at Laurel Ridge Landfill processes approximately 2,250 standard cubic feet per minute of landfill gas, producing an estimated 450,000 MMBTUs of RNG annually, the energy equivalent of 3.6 million gallons of gasoline. Bill Johnson, the CEO of Vision RNG, said, quote, this is an exciting milestone for Vision RNG and our partners. Bringing our first project with Waste Connections online ahead of schedule is a significant achievement, especially given the industry-wide challenges and delays affecting many projects. End quote. And that will do it for your November 1st, 2024 News Roundup, brought to you by Recyclist, a trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we will see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.